hi guys and welcome to my latest video um, this is going to be a bit of a combination video so it's going to have a couple of my outgoings things that I've sold um, a, a, a bolo feature as well so something that you can look out for and just um, a little bit of an insight in in how I'm currently doing things and the reason why I'm doing that is a to maybe help someone but also if there's some um, someone out there in the community that is um, sees a way that I could do things better more efficiently so that I can learn further because one thing I think we can all agree on is at the moment um, the community is doing really well and there's a lot to be learned from everyone so first things first I'm gonna get on and um, go through go through a few of the things that I've sold um, and then I'll also get to like a, um, a bolo feature as well so first thing that I've sold um, this is basically today's and like yesterday's or the last couple of days sales um, something like that um, this is one of my first attempts at retail arbitrage it hasn't done massively well for me I've managed to make a little bit of profit um, ideally it would be good if, if I had tons of these to sell and I knew that they'd keep on selling as it was I was able to pick up five copies of Lego Lord of the Rings on the Nintendo DS for £3.48 pence delivered so I bought five of them just to dip my toes in the world of retail arbitrage and I have sold um, three of those so far uh, making me 30% profit on return so that's the first thing so um, it's done okay for me but nothing special 30% profit on return isn't massive um, but obviously if you had loads of turnover it's good. Um, next thing that I sold was this awesome Cluedo um, I think I may have sold it a bit cheap, but I think I had a bit of a lazy listing. As you can see, I only took two photos of this, one of the inside there, not even showing the board, and then the board game. I picked that up for a, like a pound, or I think it was, th um, I bought a bunch of board games for like three pounds, and it was one of them in there, and that went for 12 pounds, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, so, next item, um, sold a, a Zelda. Um, link between worlds on the 3ds basically I was looking around on um, I think this was Gumtree yes this was Gumtree and there was someone selling a Nintendo 2ds um, this Zelda game and um, Pokemon Y for £70 um, I was kind of after a 2ds anyway um, and with these two games I thought it was a very good deal for £70 so um, you know this isn't exactly profit but it's 24 quid um, which is good for me and I also sold Pokemon Y which is 26 quid so I've made 50 quid minus obviously the usual eBay fees and postage um, so it's made the 2ds a pretty good buy in my opinion um, next thing that I sold Kaplunk only got 8.99 for this delivered um, pretty simple paid pound for it. Um, it it's decent profit on return for me though so I'm quite happy to to go for that um, next up is actually something I picked up from um, Sam's pickups where he talks about Warhammer and I went on Gumtree again and found someone selling four of these at £10 a pop. I asked how much for all four of them and he said he'll do me all four for 30 I said I'll give you 20 I know it's not a lot but it's all I can afford. He got back to me and I managed to pick up all four of, of his cases for £20. So £5 a case. Um, as you can see it's not in the best of condition. It's got paint all over it but you know I don't think that's an issue. Um, the inside the foam has been cut. Um, but at least it's present. The, the the most important thing is that the latches are present, um, and I managed to sell that for eighteen ninety nine um, with free shipping. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so I've got three more of those to sell. So I'll put those up when I get a moment. Um, I'm going to take different pictures for each because the condition of them does vary, um, and I'm not going to get eighteen ninety nine for all of them because um, I think one or two of them don't have the foam insert. So obviously that's going to lessen their value. Um, Next up, this was a pretty cool buy. This is a, a retro calculator I picked up for 50 pence at the boot fair. Um, it's just an old Casio calculator. It looks really cool though. Um, it's got a nice little flick switch, nice little faux leather wallet thing, and that sold um, for um, 9.99. So pretty happy with that as well. Again with free shipping. Now onto my final item. Um, and also a bolo. If you see these guys, pick them up because this, these are basically horrid Henry splat figures. Um, this I got off for Facebook for about two or three pounds. I think it was three pounds. Um, and um, went over there, picked them up. Didn't think much of it. I did do a quick 
um, eBay search before I went to pick them up, so I had an idea that they were worth more than three pounds, but I wasn't entirely sure how popular they were. Anyway, I put them up for twenty quid, nineteen ninety nine, free delivery, and within an within an an hour, I had a message saying, "Could I please hold it if they bought, if someone bought it? Could I hold it for them until next week?" And before I even had a chance to reply to that person to say, "Actually, I was going to say yes, buy it," and then pay for it as long as you pay for it when you say you will. I don't mind. I'm not in a rush. Um, I someone else came in and bought bought it from from me. So twenty quid. These are tiny little plastic figures. You can see I've got little pictures of each of them there. They're not amazing quality i don't see what's so magical about them but they are in high demand so if you see some horrid henry splat figures out there in the field be sure to pick them up um and you know that the final thing i wanted to show um in terms of sales um now in terms of like an insight i wanted to show you guys how i'm kind of currently tracking my sales um so i i have a spreadsheet where i do like my costs and yeah, outgoings but I, I i've got this little spreadsheet which just helps me keep track of what i've sold what i paid for it what it's worth um and it, this is just following on from a couple of guys like obviously nick and um joe who joe chris pine and nick hills and um and others that have mentioned this um about you know keeping an eye out on what your fees are i mean as a lot of people say you make your profit when you buy the item now sometimes you're going to make mistakes i've made mistakes and as long as you learn from them it's fine um, and it's important because even when you've got a massive margin you realize it, you're not making as much profit as you may think so for example the horrid henry figures paid three pounds for them um, which was which is great I thought okay sold them for 20 I was like wow that's really awesome profit eBay takes two pounds PayPal takes 88 pence it cost me one ninety one to deliver that packaging. I've just put ten pence because if you buy in bulk, you you know keep it cheap. I mean that's not one hundred percent accurate, but it's roughly cost me almost five pounds to sell this item for the privilege of selling it. It's cost me a fiver, which oops, sorry about that, which means my net profit is fifteen quid, um, and my actual profit after you know including everything is twelve pound ten. So I've actually made sixty percent profit on return on that. Um, now initially, if you thought. You know, buy something for three quid, sell it for twenty. Why well, hey, loads of money, loads of profit? It's not quite as simple as that. Everyone wants a piece of the pie. And similarly, if I go into my next example, which is the Games Workshop case, again, I paid a five, I sold it for nineteen quid. Similar story, fees, um, PayPal delivery was three pounds eleven because this was over a kilo. And I don't use Royal Mail for some reason. I should have that would have saved me some money because they only charge two pounds eighty. Um, so it cost me five pound ninety six. Um, net total net profit eight quid I made on that 42% profit on return and then finally Lord of the Rings this was my retail arbitrage attempt I managed to actually post these out a second class for 73p because they weighed under a hundred grams which is awesome um, but you know if they had been over a hundred grams because it was close it was like 90 something that would have been like a uh, pound 17 second class so suddenly you know your profits actually see what well, that would go down to if I put that up to one pound 17 suddenly my 30% profit on return would be 24% profit on return so it shows the importance of of you know even the smallest detail so I mean this is how I do it if you guys have any suggestions on on how I could improve what I'm doing in terms of tracking it so this basically tells me exactly what I'm making how much it's cost me how much i've made uh, profit and profit on return as well and it obviously totals it all up so i mean i'm on average i aim to make at least 25 percent profit on return i think that's a good profit on return obviously on an item like the lord of the rings i bought five of those i'm only making two pounds 40 profit per game so on f on five of those games i'm basically going to be making about 12 quid something which isn't bad for an easy profit but it's still not amazing it's not going to change your life you need to be doing this on a massive scale to be obviously successful um but anyway guys um that was this video um if you guys um have any further questions please ask um i'm more than willing to um you know obviously answer what i can and if you anyone has got any um you know um advice on what i could do better that would be awesome as well phone's ringing so i'm gonna have to go thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time